Shalom. Yesterday I asked the Lord for something to share with you. And early this morning, the Lord God gave me a short dream. It felt so real, I thought it was actually happening. That's the main thing I want to express to you guys. It felt so real. In the dream, I woke up suddenly from a deep, peaceful sleep. Everything was as normal as a normal morning in my house. It was light and I looked at my alarm clock and I saw 3.45. I was amazed thinking I'd slept until 3.45 in the afternoon. And then I saw myself standing beside my bed and I was talking to a woman, but I didn't recognize her. I was welcoming her into my house. Every room in my house was now a bedroom. My shower room was now larger and a beautiful, simple bedroom. The light coming through the roof window was different than normal light. It was very beautiful, soft and peaceful. And I knew that my study downstairs was also now a larger uh, room and a bedroom. The whole purpose of the house had been changed really to welcome people to rest. Like that was its function now. I noticed that she was not like a normal person moving into a house because she didn't have any luggage or possessions. She also didn't feel like a normal human. She felt more like the calm, humble, grateful spirit of a person, like a traveller who'd come to find a bed and she wore humble brown clothes like someone from the war years. And then I woke up for real, but I thought, but I've already woken up and it's 3, 3.45. It felt so real. I knew immediately the Lord wanted me to look up 345 in the Bible concordance, otherwise I would misinterpret the dream as what he said to me. I knew the Lord wanted me to look up 345 in the Greek, specifically the language of the New Covenant. This is what 345 means. To recline for a meal, to dine, <laughs> to sit at a meal, be guests, <laughs> uh, sit down at a table. <laughs> the parable of the banquet, Luke 14 verses 15 to 24. Once again, Yeshua, Jesus, spoke to them in parables. The kingdom of heaven is like a king who prepared a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his servants to call those who had been invited to the banquet, but they refused to come. Again, he sent other servants and said, Tell those who have been invited that I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and fatted cattle have been killed and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they paid no attention and went away, one to his field, another to his business, the rest seized his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged, and he sent his troops to destroy those murderers and burn their city. Then he said to his servants, The wedding banquet is ready, but those I invited were not worthy. Go therefore to the crossroads, and invite to the banquet as many as you can find. So the servants went out into the streets, and gathered everyone they could find, both evil and good, and the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to see the guests, he spotted a man who was not dressed in wedding clothes. Friend, he asked, how did you get in here without wedding clothes? But the man was speechless. Then the king told his servants, tie him hand and foot and throw him into outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. Also, look at the words around 345 that share the same root in Greek. They all share this part of the word. So to sit up from a reclining position. So not just to sit down, but it can mean to sit up, shares the same root, which was what I did in the dream. To bring back, to restore, to renew, to be renewed, renewal, to unveil, to uncover, <laughs> to open. So he'll open his gates to unveil and uncover his bride's face. <laughs> That's what a groom does to his bride. But also notice at the same time, some will be untaken away while others will return and come back. It means three, four, five, to recline at this beautiful meal and be a guest. The root also is connected to a word in Greek meaning to bring together under one head. <laughs> briefly comprehend, that's what will happen down on earth. Some people will briefly comprehend that the Messiah has come to rapture his bride. Gather together in one. And that reminds me of his prayer in John 17, 18. To cause to lie down, which was what I was seeing in the house, beds, made to sit down. To hinder, restrain, uh, at the time that the restrainer is taken away, the Holy Spirit is raptured from the earth. To cry out at the midnight cry, the bridegroom is coming. To examine, to judge in both the general and legal sense. 
Well, and then lastly, the symbolism of my house. My house is a very tall and narrow, like a tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Proverbs 18.10 Also, Luke 13.22 Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow is the way that leads to life, and only a few find it. My house is literally built into... A rocky hill with different levels at the back and the front because of this. The house on the rock, Matthew 7. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, but not do what I say? I will show you what he is like who comes to me and hears my words and acts on them. He is like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid his foundations on the rock. When the flood came, the torrent crashed against that house and could not shake it because it was well built. But the one who hears my words and does not act on them is like a man who built his house on ground without a foundation. The torrent crashed against that house and immediately it fell and great was its destruction. And that's also found in Luke 6. And lastly, my house is built in a valley that was an orchard in the grounds of what was a Christian hermitage several hundred years ago. So the orchard represents land that has trees, good fruit, producing crops, etc., like many of the parables Yeshua Jesus talked about, and hermitage. So far, I've just thought of it represents time alone with the Lord, in the word of God, a simple life, not loving the world. You may find more symbolism to, to the house and why he chose that symbolism in the dream. So this is a description of the bride of Christ and how she spends her time. And then finally, the land also contained a World War I hospital for soldiers recovering from battle. Now, both the hermitage and the hospital are no longer here, although there are remnants in the ground that my children have actually found when playing outside. But you, be sober in all things, endure hardship, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry, for I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight, like a soldier of Christ. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who crave his appearing. Come, Lord Yeshua, now. The bride and the Holy Spirit say, come.